I'm taking a bit of a risk here putting this video out, but I just feel that it's too important not to share this kind of technique with people because it has worked so well for me. Two years ago, I was working 14 hour days as a bedside RN. Despite being successful by any external metric, I was absolutely miserable. I was totally out of line with my higher purpose and I had reached a point where no amount of financial compensation or promotions were enough to keep me on the track that I was on. I knew it was time to change my life dramatically and I did. And this specific vision boarding technique is one of the things that helped me completely change my life. This is one of the things that really helped me get from there to here, where I am today. Before we get going, I'm not super used to making talking head type videos. So bear with me as I adjust to this and get used to this kind of format. Since you clicked on this video, I'm gonna assume that you at least are familiar with the concept of vision boarding. But in case you're not, or you're one of my regular subscribers and you've never heard me talk about this here before, here's what I mean by vision board. To me, a vision board is a visual representation of your life direction that helps you focus your attention and your energy on specific goals. Vision boards can be broad and give a bird's eye view, or they can be more specific and tailored to a certain outcome or area of your life. So what makes my technique different? Well, what I find incredibly useful is a combination of both a zoomed out bird's eye view set of boards and a more specific zoomed in set of boards. I initially create six separate boards altogether. My process consists of a combination of three broader overview boards that represent the overarching vibe of my goals for the next year, my goals for the next three to five years, and my goals for the distant future, which is more of a five to 10 year view. My annual boards are oriented around specific areas of focus. Hi, how you doing? Okay, hello. Hello. These could be any topics that ring true for you, but for me in 2024, these are one, physical wellness and body goals. Oh, are we done now? Okay. One, physical health and body goals. Two, financial, home, and luxury goals. Three, spiritual growth and expansion. Then I break those categories down even further into quarterly goal segments. So for my first topic, which was the physical wellness and body goals, I'll make four boards, one for each quarter, with specifics on them tailored to those time periods, kind of where I envision being at with these goals in each part of the year, Q1, Q2, etc. To be clear, I do not make all four quarterly boards for each topic at the same time. I just make the Q1 boards and go from there. So I start with one board for the first quarter for each topic, so that's three boards. And as I near the end of that 12 week period, I reevaluate everything on that board, see if those things are still in alignment with what I want and where I'm headed. And then I just adjust that for the next quarter. Some things fall off, some things come on and the momentum keeps going. This is a really specific and intentional way of focusing my energy toward what I wanna bring into my reality. It's so important to remember that what you think about you bring about. The ultimate goal for me with these specific tailored boards is to help keep my focus directed at what I actually want and not get shiny object syndrome and get distracted and lose focus of where I am headed. Reevaluating the visual representation I've created of my goals and my priorities each quarter, priorities each quarter, also gives me the opportunity to like shift direction, but incrementally and I can discard something if it no longer serves me or reprioritize it as I see fit. The annual three to five year and the future boards, those help me maintain a bird's eye view of where I wanna end up in a more long-term sense. And the quarterly boards help me keep an eye on what I'm doing to actively move the needle toward those bigger overarching goals. What seems to work best for me is to load these boards up with a mixture of what I term the low hanging fruit goals, as well as more lofty goals. This way I can build momentum with the lower hanging fruit and that helps convince my brain that if that one thing on the vision board is easily attainable, then of course the others are also within reach. So that makes them feel even more accessible and accelerates my movement toward those other goals that might seem more lofty. Does this process take some time? Yeah, it does. But to me, my goals are worth spending some time combing through Pinterest or images I've saved from Instagram or other platforms and then using them to create a visual aid that helps shorten the length of time that it would otherwise take to bring them into your 3D reality. 
the results speak for themselves in my case. Um, two things from one of my 2024 Q1 vision boards have already come into my reality. I already, I already have them. And it's not even January yet. I'll also add that the way that I create these boards is not as time consuming as you might think. And after you've made one or two, they quickly come together. I really like to create them in Canva. You may be familiar with it. It's a free online tool. It lets you easily arrange images in a way that suits you best. And you know, if analog vision boards are more your speed, that's also, I think, just as effective. There's lots of videos that explain how to use Canva. So I'm not gonna go into that in detail in this video. Just do a quick Google search or a YouTube search. I'm sure you'll come up with a video that will show you how to do it quickly if you're interested. I'd say just choose what feels right to you. Um, in many ways, I'm absolutely an analog girl, but using the digital method makes it possible for me to quickly and easily edit my vision boards. And this helps me more intentionally shift myself in the direction that I wanna go as life unfolds. Once I've created these boards, I like to take the three that I've made for Q1 and set them as my laptop background. And then I just rotate them automatically so each board gets some airtime on my screen and I'm seeing them all frequently. I also put the annual board in this sort of background desktop carousel. And you could also maybe put them on your iPhone screen or your iPad screen. The point is just to get them in front of your eyeballs so that your subconscious could keep picking up the images and stay focused on, again, what's important and not get distracted. It's also fun to print these out and take a look back at what you were once striving for or once felt maybe out of reach, but now is just part of your everyday reality. There was a time I could not have envisioned being a stay-at-home wife, and yet here I am. Seeing what you're capable of pulling into your 3D reality with a powerful technique like this one just helps to build that momentum and add to that feeling of going shopping in the universe. I truly believe that all we desire is within our reach. This method just helps me keep those goals and dreams in focus so that I can direct purposeful time and energy toward making them my reality. I could go on and on about this, but I'll leave it there for now. Let me know in the comments section if you have any questions or if you have a vision boarding technique of your own or if you're thinking about trying this one or adding it to what you already do. If anything here resonated with you or you found value in this content, give me a like so YouTube puts this video out in front of more people who might benefit from seeing it. I'm taking a bit of a risk here putting this video out. It's very different than my normal content, but I just feel that it's too important not to share this kind of technique with people because it has worked so well for me and I fully intend to continue using it in 2024. Happy New Year. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Jenna B and I will see you in the next video. Be who you are and you'll be enough if you're